and I give thy name glory and I give thy name honor Lord that you're moving over every individual Lord all the directors the nurses Lord the, those in the dietitian department whatever it is Lord the janitor whatever the, the CNAs Lord whatever they are Lord I pray that thy presence would, that would be with them those the therapists Lord the presence of God Lord ah, that God that your presence would be evident in every facility in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah in Jesus name I thank you Lord thank you for Mother Spillman Lord continue to bless her the heads of God be upon her cover her protect her in Jesus name and I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory and I give thy name honor Lord thank you God hallelujah who oh, bless your name glory I pray that this would be the space, Lord, that thy loving kindness of thy son would draw people out of dark areas, Lord. Draw them out of areas of the past, Lord, and insecurities, Lord, and, and hurt, Lord, and broken hearts and disappointments, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord, draw them out in Jesus' mighty name. That thy deliverance would take place like never before. I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory and I give thy name honor. We come against every skeptical person, Lord. We come against the deceiver, the liars, the manipulators, Lord. Oh, God, the gossipers and the chatterers and the murmurs and the complainers. We bind them all together in Jesus' mighty name. But this would be the space of God and for the purpose of God and that God would be glorified so we put up a wall and we don't let them come past it the blood of Jesus is a, the blood the blood the blood of Jesus places the blood of Jesus they can't cross the line they can't interfere nothing stops under the video Sire, but we move forward Lord we move them in our past in Jesus name and I thank you Lord and I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory and I give thy name honor, Lord. And I thank you for moving tonight with thy son's holy name. I thank you for moving tonight. Father, keep me, keep me from all evil. John 17 and 15. Say me through your word of truth. John 17 and 17. Let me be one with my brothers and sisters that the word might believe I have been sent in John 17 and 21. My heart desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved, Romans 10 and 1. Let me be counted worthy of my calling and fulfill all the good pleasures of your goodness and the work of faith with power, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 11. Let your word have free course in my life, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus, Ephesians 1 and 17. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened that I might know what is the hope of my calling, what are the riches of the glory of your inheritance in the saints, and what is exceedingly greatness of your power towards me who believes Ephesians 1 17 and 19 strengthen me with might by your spirit in your inner man Ephesians 3 and 16 let Christ dwell in my heart by faith and let me be rooted and grounded in love and let me comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and the height of your love Ephesians 3 17 and 18 let me know the love of Christ which passes all understanding that I might be filled with all the fullness of God Ephesians 3 and 19 Lord do exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think according to the power that worketh in me Ephesians 3 and 20 let utterance be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Ephesians 6 and 19. Let my love abound more and more in knowledge and in all judgments in Philippians 1 and 9. Let me approve things that are excellent that I may be sincere without offense until the day of Christ. Philippians 1 and 10. 
Let me know Jesus and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death Philippians 3 and 10. Let me be filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that I, Isaiah, might walk worthy of you unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in every knowledge of God. Colossians 1, 9 and 10. Let me be strengthened with all might according to your glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness Colossians 1 and 11 let me stand perfect and complete in all the will of God Colossians 4 and 12 thank you Lord let my whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of my Lord Jesus Christ first Thessalonians 5 and 23 Lord give me peace always by all means and be with me second Thessalonians 3 and 16 I make supplications intercession and give thanks for all men and leaders in my nation and in the church that I might lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty first timothy 2 1 and 2 i receive multiple grace and peace through the apostolic anointing second peter 1 and chapter 1 verse 2 and i give thy name praise and i give thy name glory lord i pray that thy word and the scriptures of thy word the word of god that thy word would be sealed and multiplied that it would rest lord and it would be evident in my life and over this broadcast lord that it would bring about the demonstration and the display of the wonders of god and that the people would experience the presence of God and in the space called God and that you would expose us in Jesus by any name Lord expose yourself to us tonight Lord I pray that the word Lord the word I place the word of God I place your word over this airway Lord that the people would see the manifestation of thy now word in Jesus mighty name I pray that it would be sealed and done for every listener amen and amen thank God amen we give God's name praise and we give God's name glory and honor it's a privilege and honor to be before you just one more time one more time um here's the word of the Lord for us tonight yeah I heard the Lord say son tell my people this is your due space to leave your past behind and the others that don't fit into my now for you i say this that i say is very important for you for your outcome purpose season and don't look back now this will hurt in some cases as you have attached yourself to many enemies i have uncovered the lies manipulation tricks and plots now move on i say as you're about to step into my big thing just for you save the spirit of the lord thank god for his word amen i'm excited about the word of the lord tonight well now tonight the lord said to me he said son tell the people it is time to move on and no looking back uh you got to tell that to somebody it's time to move on and there's no looking back uh, many of you've been stuck in some situations huh and people uh, people will try to put you in places and things that you ain't you, you're not there huh i mean there's nothing worse than having somebody try to put you in a in a dog house and you belong in a palace there's nothing like somebody squeezing you in that little car and you got long legs come on now i'm telling you ain't nothing like somebody telling you sick and god told you you're healed come on ain't nothing like somebody telling you you're broken god called you under the deal sire to give unto nations you got to know where you are and who you are and oftentimes if you ever want to know what a person is you got to look at their friends and their surroundings and the little sire see if you can't believe with me guess what you need to leave me come on now i'll say that again if you can't believe with me you better leave me i'm the little so i'll send you away oh shabbat uh-huh and, and listen won't let you come back at another day listen you got to know that in your spirit 
this is time just to move on. You, you look. We, we. One thing that we're not focused on is it. The Bible teaches us to number our days. Lord, teach me to number Zari's days. I'm the video Sahia. I don't know how much time I have. I'm the video Sahia, but I know I'm past time to be playing around, huh? And acting like a clown. I'm past that time. I'm past times of foolishness. I'm past times of laziness. I'm past times of confusion. Uh huh. And all that. This disillusions and all that kind of crafty stuff. No, I ain't got time to be thinking and guessing and all that stuff. I ain't got time to be dealing with no emotional stuff, uh huh, and insecure stuff. No, because I'm at that time. What time is it? It's the prime time. This is prime time. Prime time is when you on God's time. I'm the little Messiah. Whether you be praying, whether you be opening up the door for people, whether you just greet somebody with a smile, I'm the little Messiah. Whether you serve somebody a salad or a glass of water it's prime time I'm the Diosaya all those things I'm talking about with God are all needed you understand what I'm saying there's no big eyes and little use but when you're on prime time you ain't got time to be dealing with other people that got something else on their mind listen so what you got to do is put them in the back oh and you don't look back you keep moving forward I'm the Diosaya I'm telling you a long time ago the Lord told me to teach you I'm the Diosaya he taught me he said share this with the people if your past didn't work in your past and sometimes you meet people and they remind you of your past lift those hands up and say yes Lord I ain't gonna be before you long I got a bunch of scriptures but I'm talking to you tonight about listen it's time to move on and you can't look back I'm the video you wasted enough time in that space or in this space you understand what I'm saying and so if your past didn't work in your past and some people that you're around some jobs positions or space may remind you of your past they remind you of that rejection that you had in your past you're Understand. It reminds you of that loss that you had in your past. I'm the deal, uh, Sometimes you can look at things and you feel the pain of your past. It could just be a talk show, a TV show. It could be a song. And things remind you, if your past didn't work in your past, you know your past won't work in your present. Huh? If your past didn't work in your past, you know your past won't work in your present. And if your past didn't work in your past and you know it won't work in your present, listen. You know, you'd be a fool. You would be a fool to take it into your future. And that's what God is saying tonight. He's saying, listen, I'm about to move with you. I'm the video side. It's time. It's time for you to come forth, my son and my daughter. It's time for you to listen. It's time for you when you to lift up your hands. Until the Lord God's going to put something in them. Oh, Shabbat. So you ain't got time to be listening to uh, uh, some foolishness. Uh huh. You ain't got time to be listening to something that don't make any sense. You ain't got time to be throwing all that makeup on and making yourself to be something that you're not. Listen, you can take all the costumes off under the video side. You got to get rid of all that fake stuff under the video side. Listen, you got look, you get look, you got look, you got to get away from all that. Listen, you got to be who you are who God made you to be right now listen and I'm telling you right now if they're not being real guess what you know that's not the deal I'm the video side and more than likely they're trying to steal something they're trying to steal your joy they're trying to steal your anointing I'm the video side they're trying to steal your pureness uh huh they're trying to steal you I'm the video side listen let me tell you something God didn't put all this in you and for you to have lust and perversion I'm the video side he didn't put all that in you to deal with lying, stealing, and killing under the deal, Sire. He didn't. He, God didn't put all that in you, uh huh, to allow something, uh, something so in, uh, insignificant to take it all away. So you got to know what time it is, huh? Lift those hands up and say yes, Lord. Uh, listen, let me tell you, uh, it's about moving on in life. Uh, things that happen to us under the deal, Sire. Uh, what was what uh, what? What ones would you include it? Or what was, what were the ones you, would you include that have happened to us that have happened in our past? And you know, I'm 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 trying to uh, figure out everything that the Lord was saying, even with me, because you know, a big thing to me 
It was a big thing to me, and I talk about it. I don't know how long I'll talk about it, but it was a big thing to me to lose my father. Now, I've had a lot of losses in life, but losing my father was different. It was just different. Listen, but it's imperative that I don't look back and that I don't dwell or that I don't stay and dwell on the past. In Philippians 3 and 14, the Bible says, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call.